Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can create a custom table and then create a table maintenance generator and assign the table maintenance generator to our transaction code. <clears throat> okay, so everyone who will be an ABAPR at some point of time, you create a custom table. Okay, so the transaction code first thing is go to SC11 and then based on your naming convention of your project, you will create one. So I'll just create one. Just for the heck, I put this number and I'll click create. Okay, and here we will say um, uh, <clears throat> test or probably company code. Um, include something. So this is a simple, uh, simple um, 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 the custom table where we are going to maintain some company code and some sign or something. Okay, so here we will say delivery class. We will click on this and we will say it would be uh, you can put an application table, master and transaction customizing table. If you put customizing table, that means you can be uh, maintaining it or you can move it through transports and all those things. Okay, so I'll just put this maintenance allowed with restriction. That's fine. This is good. So then we are going to do, I think, with select MNDT. And I'll say, oops, data element, and then the okay. The first field is it's client dependent. I can make it initial, initial, initial. And here we are going to put hookers. Okay, that's company code. Okay, UKRS. Okay, and here we have company code, and probably we'll put <coughs> EKORT, which is suppose purchase organization okay. so this is the thing now you might say why well, how do i know you know for experience but you have all done the homework of what are the fields that you are needing so here now if you see input help automatically these things comes okay so that's this is fine text this it whole job and here after this what you can do lots of times what i do i'll activate but you can do technical settings okay you can click this, click yes, click local object, and here you can create, um, you can assign it to a package or it's up to you. So here, here I'm just creating a local object. Okay, so this is done, and now I'll click on activate. Okay, now it takes me to the data class. Okay, I could have gone from technical settings directly. So here you just mention the data class master, and the size category is important here. So don't give a big size category, it's generally you should give zero, but based on your, you know, number of inputs will be number of records, you just give it, okay? And the rest, you can, the rest of the things, you don't need to worry about, okay? Uh, so buffering allowed, not allowed, all those things, you can leave it as it is, okay? And click yes, now it's done. Now, this is activated, okay, if you see. This is activated. Now our table has been created. Now we have the table has been created. But what is the table maintenance generator? So the table maintenance generator is important where how you can maintain the table. First thing is you go to utilities, table maintenance generator, and that's it. Here you have to give an authorization group. If you don't have, you can just put NC. This is the one. Okay, I'll just, but if you have something, you, you have to, Give it okay because based on this the security is controlled after this generally what you do is you create a function group with the same name as the table okay now okay that's 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 the what you can say better practice or whatever again if you have different process it's up to you you can do whatever you want so here i'm creating a function group oops sorry okay click on this create yes and we'll say function group and here is the thing. Okay, now we are going to hit save and always click on this and activate. Okay. So once this is activated, you're done. Now what you're going to do? We are just the same table name, same function group. Okay. And here we will say one step. Okay. And here probably you can give a name 9001. So it's generally all the nine starts with nine is custom. 
okay that's trend similar to workflows templates okay so now here you can click on create and click on save okay click on save now what i'm so once you've saved it and all those things this is done and now what we are going to do is we are going to activate this pretty easy okay now what we can do is we'll open go to another transaction where we maintain the table okay sm30 this is wide open based on the you can put any table here and you can maintain provided you have a tmg already maintained so if you click on tmg can only be displayed and maintained with restrictions okay i made a mistake here we will say maintenance allowed okay see we learned a issue so we have to select this one let's try to do this it's maintained it okay it's not getting the buffer so it has the buffer thing so what we are going to do is we have to go sm30 probably i have to activate it again that's good okay so here you can see you can click number of entries and here you can enter company code and all this. okay so now what what we have to do is this is sm30 where you can maintain any table that has a tmg which is very much a security issue they can be security issue and all those things so what you can do is you can create a transaction code for this how we can create a transaction code that will only open sm30 for this okay so in order to do that what we can do is i will just copy this uh, transaction code okay so op48 i go to sc93 and we'll play a little um, Catch, catch thing. Okay, here we go to SE93 and we will display. Okay, SE93 is the place where we will be using <coughs> where we will be using um, the well, SE93 is the place where we create transaction code. So if you notice, this is the thing, this is the thing. And if I execute, what it does, this opens like this. What I am going to do, I'll work a little smartly, I'll just copy this and i'll paste it and i'll put cst11 uh what was it i think what was the table name i'll just take the same table name just for the head cst11 this and we copy it okay uh click local objects and now what i'm going to ch do is change okay what i'm going to change here is first thing is i'll change this thing Okay, maintain. Now what I'm going to do is on the safe side. I always go to here, and I do this. Suppose this is the description. Okay, that's in the table. Okay. After this, what I'm going to change is this one. This is very important. We change this to this, and I will save it, and I'll execute. Okay. You see this? Now this is done. Now I go here and create a session. Oops, I'm out of running out of session. So let me go here, suppose, and I go to slash and, and I put this. It takes me directly to this place. So in this way, we create a custom table, we create a table maintenance shifter, and we created a transaction code for this. This is something that no matter if you're an abapper, any level, expert, whatever you are, you can be. 20, 30 years experience, you will be doing this at least one in every project, if not more. Okay, and this is the way uh, you do it, and it's day in, day out, you create this type of things. Okay, so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it, and have a great day.